what what guys the sound you're listening to right now is coming from a dollar mic yes literally 100 yen mic okay okay so i gotta be honest with you guys yes i am tweaking this audio i am actually using right now live while i'm recording this through quicktime I'm using GarageBand to tweak the sound a little bit, you know, make it nice and crispy and bassy and punchy. You know, I have a preset that I use for my Audio Technica, the AT9904, which as you all might see in my videos is the lav mic that I have on my neck. I was surprised to find that the preset I made uh, in GarageBand works with this little dollar mic. It sounds pretty good, right? I mean, yes, it's a little low. We do hear a little hiss. But it's in Zoom, it's actually not audible, not that distracting. So it's actually pretty good, in my opinion. And better yet, when we go to edit this video in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to tweak it some more and make sure it's nice and clean. So by the time you get this audio test, you're probably hearing a nice, crispy, bassy, punchy voice. Well, at least that's what I hope. I don't know yet because i'm still recording i haven't edited yet so we'll see you tell me in the comment section below i'll find out later uh, by your feedback and the results of the video after i'm finished editing but as of now i used it in a couple of zoom calls no one even noticed i switched mic a couple of neat things about this mic that it has going for itself that the laugh mic doesn't have is that it has its own stand and it has a flex flexible neck, so you could adjust it anywhere you want. It has a mounting plate, and that mount actually has a little cutout so that you could stick out the cord and have the stand stand up straight. It has a little plastic grill on the front. Of course, if you get too close, you're gonna get popping. If you get too far, it's gonna get low really fast. So you gotta be up close, about a fist away from the microphone to get the best audio possible. And actually, as a matter of fact, if you notice most podcasters and YouTubers that have really crispy sound, they'll have like these big XLR microphones hanging from a mount, and it's like right all, all up in the grill, you know, they have their the mic, a pop filter, and then their mouth is right there. So some people, they even have the ice cream cone style, you know, like they're just eating that thing, it's all up in their mouth. But that's to get the best possible audio so i understand that but this little thing you can't even see it on that wall actually you can see a little tip right there sticking up yes it is tiny and it still sounds pretty good after doing some edits now i'm going to show you the raw file right now i'm going to switch over to the regular mic and so you could see what it sounds like just the mic by itself and spoiler alert it's actually not that bad so let's go ahead and switch to that all right and here we are this is what the mic sounds like just straight connected into my m1 mac mini i do have an extension cable so that i could uh, go under the table and then i plugged it in at the bottom of my desk but other than that that's it this is just a dollar microphone this is the audio quality you get from a dollar mic pretty neat and while we're at it, we're testing this microphone nice and raw. We're going to plug up the Audio Technica and see what it sounds like just straight out of the mic. And no edit, no garage band, no presets whatsoever. We'll see what it sounds like. And also DaVinci Resolve. I'm not going to edit it in DaVinci Resolve. You're just going to get the raw, ugly audio from both of these mics. All right, guys. So right now, this is the Audio Technica 9904. 1899.04. This is what it sounds like straight from the mic. No edit, no garage band presets, no DaVinci Resolve uh, audio edits in Fairlight, nothing. It's just raw audio. And yes, it might be a little louder and it's in the same exact position. So it, it's a little louder than the $1 mic, but listen to the audio quality. Can you really hear a difference? The mic sounds like just straight connected into my M1 Mac Mini. I, can you really hear a difference? It's not as big as I thought. It's not as big as of a $30 difference. 
dollar mic it sounds like a 15 dollar mic or something you know like a 10 dollar mic you could get in ebay but for a dollar locally at the local dollar store it's pretty wild all right so right now i'm gonna go to my presets clean everything up in garage band and da vinci and let's see what that audio sounds like and here we go this is what the audio sounds like after applying the preset on garage band and just uh, channeling or outputting the audio into the max os input and here we go this is the dollar mic using the preset for my audio technica 1899.04 is the exact same preset i haven't adjusted anything the low the mids and highs it's all the same the compression i added a little bit of compressor or compression and yeah to boost up the voice a little bit it might be a little bit noisier than the audio technica but it's not that bad actually so what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to take the raw audio. We're going to edit it in DaVinci. So DaVinci also has an awesome audio editor, like a mixer, you, you may say. You can audit and tweak and just fix the audio that you have recorded in your cameras or in film or your external audio that you recorded. Really awesome. So we're going to do that right now. So let, let's switch over to the external microphone to just... Uh, Let's switch over to the raw audio right now. All right. So right now what you're listening to is the raw audio that is has been edited in DaVinci. So I haven't heard it yet. I'm about to see what I can do with this $1 mic. We'll see. Hopefully it can do wonders. And also I'm going to switch over to the Audio Technica and take that raw file audio and edit it in DaVinci and see what it can do. Okay, look, so here we are, Audio Technica, the 1899.04 raw audio straight into the Mac Mini and it's edited in Fairlight. So how does DaVinci do? It's, I'm sure it's gonna be way better than a dollar mic, but considering that the dollar mic did a fairly decent job, I am pretty happy and satisfied with the purchase. Now, the reason for the purchase, I thought, you know what? Even if the dollar mic was horrible, I could always just cut it open, do a little surgery, and use only the stand and the little stick that it comes with to be able to, you know, use my lav mic on a stand when I'm on the desk and when I'm on the go or moving about, I could clip it on me, so I have that option. If you know in my channel, I made a DIY video a while back using a straw for a mic stand. If you wanna check out that video, it's in the description down below. But that was just a little hack DIY. I didn't know I had a mic stand available for just a dollar. So that's pretty neat. I'm just, yeah, glad in, I bump into this and we'll see. I'll keep using the dollar mic here and there. See if you could tell if in my channel I'm using the dollar mic or the lav mic. Tech points for you, for those that did notice. So guys, yeah, that will do it for our test right now. Thank you so much for sticking around and seeing this, com or actually listening to this comparison. If you did enjoy the comparison, you wanna give props to that $1 mic, hit a thumbs up. There is no link to this because it's just from the local Daiso Hyakuin shop in here in Japan. So sorry guys, you could just check in your local dollar store and see if they have a microphone there. It would be nice if they did. It's worth the shot, guys. If you guys did find this video useful, entertaining, um, hit a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We'll really support the channel a lot. Um, subscribe to get further DIYs, reviews, and cinematic videos. See you guys on the next one. Peace.